So you have an overgrown lawn that you just need to figure out how to get it cut down without making a giant mess. Today we're gonna to take my yard here, which I haven't cut in two weeks because well, life just gets in the way. I'm gonna show you how I can take this down without making a giant mess in your yard. So stay tuned and I'll walk you through it. All right, so now we have our lawnmower out. Now, the best thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna have to bag this. If you have a lawnmower that has a bagging option, this is the best thing for you. Make sure you bag this. If you don't have a bagger, then you do not wanna mulch. That's the main thing is we don't wanna mulch. Use your side discharge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to blow it all to one side of the yard and get rid of it, blow it out of the yard. If not, you need to come through with a rake and get it all up because you don't want this sitting on the lawn because it's gonna suffocate anything below it and it will kill your lawn underneath. So now we know how we're gonna do it and what we're gonna use, let's get to it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find that cutting height. That is the perfect spot where maybe you're taking off about half of what you would normally be cutting. You don't wanna try to scalp this down all at one time. What you wanna do is you wanna take it down in two stages. So the first time you're gonna try to cut about half of it off, that gets you about halfway to where you wanna be. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna see I'm gonna go up and down here and I'm gonna make sure that we're bagging this like I just said earlier. And I'm gonna dispose that over my fence here because I'm gonna use that later on. And now you'll see here, my grass has got extremely tall on me. This is a lot for me. I normally keep this cut about an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters. So it's about five or six inches tall now, so I need to take this down. And so the key here is you don't want to rush it. So you're going to want to go as fast as your lawnmower is going to let you. You're going to be able to hear if it's bogging down too hard, you're going to back off on the speed a little bit. So maybe you only need to put about half of the lawnmower into the new grass that hasn't been cut yet and ride the other half on the spot you just cut. So that way you're not straining the lawnmower too hard. So you want to be able to let it keep its speed up so that way you get a nice clean cut even though you're trying to take a lot off. So you're just gonna keep working your way back and forth like this until you finish your entire yard. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back and you're gonna drop your mower to your setting that you normally would like or how you would normally cut your grass. Now you're gonna hit it in the opposite direction. You're gonna wanna do a crisscross pattern here or a checkerboard pattern as people would call it. So you don't wanna stripe this. So make sure you take your rollers off if you have one. You don't wanna do anything to be pushing this grass down flat. So you wanna try and get the best of quality cut that you can get out of this. Now I'm actually gonna use this time to be able to go back and reset where I've walked myself up over the summer here. I've slowly gone up where I was cutting at about three inches tall and I want to get back down an inch and a half an inch and three quarters here so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hit this for a third pass and take it down again I'm gonna take it down about a half an inch below where I normally would cut it or I want it to be because I do have Bermuda in my yard so that way I want it to come back up and be green again when I start cutting at the height that I want to be at I like to do this about once a year because it keeps me having a lot of grass when it comes fall time in the yard and it gets me back down to where I would start at in the spring. Now just a quick thing here, if you have Bermuda grass, you do not want to try to do this or you're going to have to take it down a long ways. You're, so you're going to take all of the green off your yard and what you need to do is you need to knock this down about half an inch to three quarters of an inch lower than what you would normally cut it or where you would like to cut it. And it's going to turn your yard brown. Your yard's going to be brown if you cut your Bermuda like this. It's going to take all of the green off. Bermuda grows just like a tree and if you take the top of it off, you have no green left. So you're actually Going to turn your yard brown for a little while but it will come back trust me bermuda is very resilient and now also you don't want to do this in the heat of the summertime you want to try to do this first thing in the morning or late in the evening so that way it's a little bit cooler on your grass and you're not really stressing it as much because you're going to be taking a lot off and it's going to be a huge stress factor by itself so i'm actually going to show right here that you can see the half of the yard that i have took down to where i was cutting at and the half of the yard where i'm taking it down to reset you can see i've sacrificed all my green in the yard and it looks like crap but honestly, we got about five or six days worth of rain and it's gonna be raining before I can even finish this video probably. So I'm prepared to hit it hard because I know we have six days worth of rain in the forecast and it has rained the past two or three days. It's my first day I've had where it hasn't rained so I was able to cut this. It's part of the reason why it got so bad. So I know this is really gonna help it out and it's really gonna jump after this. All right, so now that I took all the green off my yard and it's yellow again, I'm gonna have to wait about two weeks for this to come back up and be green again. But that's okay, it'll look great when it comes back. And if you've got anything of interest today, be sure to hit subscribe for me right here so that way you can catch future videos. We got a fun project coming up in the front yard here. We're gonna be renovating. I'm gonna be mixing in a different type of grass into my front yard so that way I can get a little more color out of it. And also, if you just need a laugh, check out this funny video I made of just funny sayings of a lawn addict. And with all that said, this is Shane Heath. I'll catch you in the next video.